Comedian Tony Hinchcliffe, a.k.a. Kill Tony, was on stage on Sunday at President Trump's Madison Square Garden rally. And when I heard his bit, I had to actually ask myself, whose side is this guy on? Listen to this. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. I get it. Humor and comedy by its nature is funniest when it's mean, but that wasn't clever. That was not funny. Here, this just seemed a little more twisted. Puerto Ricans are famously proud of Puerto Rico. They are a U.S. territory with over 472,000 Puerto Ricans in Pennsylvania. This all-important swing state holds the largest concentration of Puerto Ricans in the United States. President Trump right now is polling ahead of Paris in this Keystone state by just 0.02 percent by some estimates. Trump also made gains with Latino men. He's earned about 47 percent of Latino men right now. The Trump campaign has since distanced themselves from Mr. Hinchcliffe's joke, along with Trump ally Peter Navarro and prominent Latino Republicans, all have spoken out including Congresswoman Maria Elvira Sal Salazar from the Miami area. The joke obviously did not go well with Trump supporters at the rally, who felt like it took away from the spirit of the rally, and it did. Pennsylvania will also determine who wins the Senate come November. So a very poorly decided joke. Bad Bunny, a Puerto Rican star in the music world, came out after these comments and endorsed Kamala Harris. He encouraged other Puerto Rican voters to vote for her as well. So joining us now to break down what all of this might do is pollster Steve Mitchell, president of Mitchell Research and Communications. Mr. Mitchell, welcome to the program. Well, it's terrific to be with you today. I... I don't know what the Puerto Rican, uh, you know, voting population is, but as a pollster, what can you tell us about how they vote and the state of Pennsylvania as a de as a voting demographic here? Well, I think it's an important uh, demographic. I think Pens Pennsylvania really is the critical state. Um, it's a lot easier picking up the 19 electoral votes from Pennsylvania than to try to cobble together 10 votes from. Uh, from one state and 11 votes from another. So if uh, I think whoever wins Pennsylvania is going to win the election. It's really unfortunate because even ABC News, a reporter for ABC News talked about what a wonderful atmosphere it was at Madison Square Garden, how terrific it was that you mm -hmm. had so many people uh, uh, together. You had uh, Jewish uh, supporters, Muslim supporters. You had uh, just a, a wonderful occasion. They, they probably could have filled Madison Square Garden twice. I've talked to people who were there. And as a result of one joke by one comedian, um, they find themselves um, on the defense of talking about that one particular uh, incident. Now, the, the, the question really remains is, will that one joke cause a large number of voters to switch from one candidate to the other um, and we'll find that out on election day but it clearly was a uh, something that uh, an unforced error that uh, they should have patrolled better and, and controlled what was being said by the speakers especially comedians who are always uh, you know, attempting to create humor sometimes out of things that are inappropriate for a political campaign no, I mean, I, I mean, I, I actually had to wonder. I mean, is this guy a plant? Did he was he doing this to sabotage the the campaign? Because you know, Pennsylvania is a very tight state, as you just said, and you know, we've got a lot of early voting that's already in. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed. 